Alright, I just wanted to do a quick video on here that um, the question is, um, will the Democrats replace Joe Biden? And they'll either do it with Gavin Newsom or Michelle Obama. Um, it says here, Democrats are despairing over President Joe Biden's debate performance Thursday night, which was yesterday. A show so halting, some even pray privately raised questions about whether he should remain the party's nominee. Okay, uh, Joe Biden crashed and burned last night on live national television despite having the most rigged debate set up provided to him courtesy of the communist news network CNN. He put the lie to the claim by Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre who famously claimed that all the videos showing Joe Biden to be a frail old man with dementia were deep fake cheap fakes. After last night, the whole world understands the truth and gravity of the situation. Um, so, who will Democrats put in his place? Job 21.7 Job 21 says, wherefore, wherefore do the wicked live become old, yea, are mighty in power? Um, Gavin Newsom would seem the most logical uh, choice to replace Sleepy Joe, but he is a polarizing figure hated even by many Democrats. He is never someone who could run on a ticket claiming to unite a fractured America not in, not in a million years. He attended the debate last night lurking in the hallways like a ghost waiting to inhabit a human body. On the other hand, if Democrats really want to win in November, Michelle Obama would be a slam dunk shoe in to take the White House in November, um, a guaranteed win. It's a quite a long shot, but it's who I pick, you know, the author of this um, article. And uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, um, well, they'd, they'd really, I, I, a woman president, I'm not sure, but uh, maybe at this point in the game, um, who knows. Um, and then from CNN politics, I quote, Biden appeared on stage with a soft, halting voice and an open mouth, staring look. And I watched um, it briefly, and he was standing there kind of like this, with a blank stare on his face. Um, he struggled to finish points of thought. Yeah, uh, when Trump was talking, he was just open-eyed looking at him. Uh, like he, he needs to be in a nursing home or something. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make a joke about, about it, but yeah, it's probably not funny. But anyways, um, yeah, a soft, halting voice and an open mouth stare. And look, he struggled to finish thoughts at points and seated ground in is on issues like abortion where Democrats had an edge. It took just minutes for Democrats to realize how bad it was becoming. Um, I quote here again, Biden looks and sounds terrible, he's incoherent. One Democrat who spent time working in the Biden administration said, and horrific said another Democratic operative. And I'm not gonna say the word here, but one Democrat who's worked up on campaigns and down the ballot said simply, we are blank. Um, and it's, um, I'll put the um, rest of the link in the um, description, I'm going to copy it right now, um, hold on. I just want to see, one second, one more verse, um, I, hold on one second. Yeah, it says Isaiah three twelve. One second, it's loading. Uh, let me see if I can get the King James version up on here because all the results are coming up like an NIV or NASV or something. One second. Okay, one second, this is really taking a long time to load. Yeah, so um, Isaiah 3.12 says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths. Um, so, 
one of the signs that people are erring um, is that women rule over them. Um, and these, the women that rule over them cause my, these people, um, it says, all my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. So that just tells you um, the state of this country that we have women rulers and um, we have basically have um, given, taken the rights away from children, parents to discipline their children and um, that's why children are our oppressors today. We can't, we can't even spank our children anymore um, or they can go to CPS and get us arrested. Um, I, I, and I believe they're literally taught that in the classroom. If your parents spank you, go call the police or something like that. I heard that a couple of years ago. Um, police State USA, um, uh, the USSA, the United Search and Seizure of Assets. But anyways, I'm going to put the link in the description. Thank you for watching. God bless you and have a great day.